The gauntlet was thrown down, and it's been accepted. Here we go. EASHL Club action here on EA Sports. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Spitfires win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Quick feed to Smotherman. Now he takes it over the line. Good use of the body on the play. Picked up along the boards by Jay. And he takes the pass. On the wraparound. Great save by the Tendi on the wraparound. Well, you gotta have a strong push if you want to be able to go post to both kids, and that's exactly what he does to make the save. Now a quick pass to Slater. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. The Peets have it now. Slides the puck down low. And that's intercepted by Smotherman. Strands moving the puck through his own zone. Windsor's got the puck. Smotherman's got it along the wing. Keeps possession. The Spitfires gain possession in their own end. Puck picked up. Oh, what a save on the play! Such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Slick feed. And he gets in front of that. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. Selix won the draw here in their own zone. Jay's lugging the puck. Moves it to Selleck. Passes the puck over to Slater. They go on the attack from the left side. Looks to set up from the side now. The Spitfires carry it along the wall. Stops him cold. Slides it over with pace to Bruin. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Strand. From point blank. Big save in front. Great goaltenders have an uncanny ability to get to a set position and be able to fight through a screen as he's able to make this save. Moves the puck up to Bruin. Intercepted at center by Jay. The Peets will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Pass across to Strand. Looks to set up at the point now. Moves it quickly over to Classy. Here we go, on that rush. What a steal in his own end. Peterborough gained the line and into the zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Sends the feet in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Wentz has got a hold of it along the wall. Jay stick handling in his own zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. Grabs it in his own end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Here's a short pass to Bruin. And that's offside, stopping the play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The game is still scoreless. Peterborough's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Windsor's got the puck in their own end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. There's the whistle icing the call. Just here in the late stages of this frame, still scoreless in this one. Windsor's got the win off that draw. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw, coming off of an icing where everyone's tired. When you get the win, you get out of your zone. Windsor's got the puck against the half wall. And he rings the post! So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, if he 
get the opening goal. The momentum's all in your favor. Shot. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. And somehow he hangs on. Play is blown dead with the offside. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. From off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The Spitfires gain possession. Taken along the wall by Jay. Takes control of the puck. Taken here by Selleck. That's not going to fool him. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. It's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count. The whistle goes before the puck went in. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Zeros on the board as we are now underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? No one really being instinctually aggressive out there, James. Everyone just making sure that they're in good defensive posture. But when you're in that kind of structure, sometimes you don't jump when the loose puck is there for the taking and you don't get going north. As a result, there haven't been many shots in this game. And I got to say, it's not very entertaining. The Peets get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the right side, they gain the zone. Oh, and here's the pass. Nice save from point blank range. The goaltender gets a better room this time, but man, does he ever love to attack when he's in the offensive zone. That one-timer that he's known for, he executes typically, and this time it gets turned aside. Grabs the puck in the corner. With the blast! And he keeps that one out. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Carrying it, looking. Picked up along the boards. To the corner. Carries it along the perimeter. Center and team. Oh, that misses. Grabs the puck along the boards. From the corner. That's blocked. Takes the puck back right in. Scores. Quick as a hiccup on the wraparound. Uh, this is great, Edgework, as well. You're coming around that net. You don't want to take too much time. You have to be able to tuck quickly, and he does it. Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender, and this is exactly why. You can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. Slides the puck ahead to Classy. Just a great defensive read there. Peterborough's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. We've got to find a way to generate some offense. Locals tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Peterborough's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Strand's got it in the corner. Sends it down low. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Here he is in close. And that's blocked as he gets down low. 
Nice job to escape the zone. Gets it over to Bruin. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. And he takes the feed. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Selleck. Peterborough's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter. They didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PKU to just stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. And off the face-off, they take possession. Slides it over to Strand. Oh, and he delivers a thunderous hit check. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Jay. Peterborough's gained possession along the boards. Sends it over to Classy. From the blue line, they take control of it. And rings the iron! Huge steal in his own end. And that's picked off in the defensive end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that's knocked away by Classy. And we'll reset things after that icing. Well past the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Lupus won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it clean, and they have an opportunity right away with the tired group that they're playing against. Excellent stick work on the play. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. There's another great save! Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Pass to Strand. Takes the feed at the point. And that goes off the iron! Peterborough's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately it hits the post and out. Quick feed down low. Feeds it down low. Quick feed to Classy. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Now he slides it up to Lupul. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Selleck. Lupul's got the puck now in his own end. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. Off the face, off they take the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Classy. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this too. Strand. Cox set a 
across the blue line. This time a one-timer, that could have padded the stats and extended the lead. Well, James, one question. How is he that available? Everyone knows that that's his wheelhouse, that's his signature, his textbook shot. And he has distributed that puck, and he just sails it, and it misses. They're lucky he didn't convert. Moves around along the half wall. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Pass back to the point. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Oh, what a hip check of the old school variety. Beautiful. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Lupus won a big draw on their own end. Sprints across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Peterborough's got the puck against the wall. Drifts it and rips it! And a quick save on that one. Well, this is just a hard-working play by the goaltender. I mean, he's bopping up and down, trying to battle and find the puck through the screen, and he does, James, because of that willingness to compete to find it. Quick pass to Bowen. Strands running and gunning tonight, James. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Windsor's got it in their own zone. Picks off the pass. The Peets take it along the wall. The home team is really under siege here in their own end. Skating with it. Oh, what a save there. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Peterborough's been on a roll all night long and they continue to lead in the third. Windsor's taking possession in their own end. Feeds it to Selleck. Jabs the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Bruin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good hit on the play. Peterborough's got the puck against the boards. And loses a shot! Puck picked up by Selleck. Sends the pass over. Shot! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Cuts to the paint. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. And that's deflected. Windsor's got the puck along the wall. Selleck's got it behind the net. He's got the Anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering. And this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession. You want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he makes the save. Just got enough to keep it out. Poked away in the defensive end. Windsor's looking to break out. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. Windsor's got the puck. They go on the attack through center. Into the corner now. Slides the puck to Strand. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the puck behind the net. Here's a rip! Gets in the lane with the body. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. The Pete scoop it up along the boards. Into the offensive end now. Rips it on Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first 
Matthews tried to be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Peterborough's been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck and you'll win this game. Oh! Oh, he gives up the body on that. Here's a short pass to Lupo. Chase. Here we go. Two on one. Well, 60 minutes played and still no winner. So what do we do? We go to sudden death. Overtime is coming up. Frustrating one. Jay's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Selleck. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Selleck's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Peterborough's looking to break out of their own end. And there we go, icing is the call. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Lupel's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Smotherman's crossed the line and gained the zone. And he's able to handle that one. Sometimes goaltenders don't see the puck. It's a quiet shot, so their senses are taken away from them, so they just have to get to set positioning and hope for the best. Turn that chance aside. Stars! They take it in overtime! What an effort by this team out there tonight.
Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting.
Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Both squads bringing their A-listers here for this one in this EASHL Club Showdown. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. And we can officially say game on. The Peets move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Bruin. And he coughs it up with the pass. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Wolinski's picking up momentum through center. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Strand. And here's the pass to Bruin. The Peets played along the boards. Quick feed down low. Kitchener's got possession of the puck. Scoops up the puck now. Can't get a hold of that pass. We've got icing on the play. Faceoff coming up. Beans able to read cross crease chances and turn them aside, but the key to that is his mobility, guys. His lateral movement is what we call his post-to-post -post zone ability. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Kitchener's got the puck in the defensive end. Zone. Bean's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out battle, when you outwill your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Kitchener's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Easily kicked away by the goalie. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going and he was ready for it. Good, solid check and he loses control of it. Peterborough's got it in their own zone. 
Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It was the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Kitchener's got it along the wall. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. The Rangers have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first. Kitchener's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, and he stops that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the later stages of this period, the Rangers have taken a 1-0 lead. Lopez won it off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Handles the pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. What a steal in his own end. Peterborough has been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But they have to translate to something. This is still a close game. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here, and you can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Kitchener's held the play here, and the reason why they've done it is they've controlled their shot selection. They know exactly where they want to go, when they're going to do it, and they're driving the net. Moves it to the middle. Dishes it off again here. And the puck is snagged and covered up for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing the score. And they win the draw on their own end. Looks to pass it to Strand. Kitchener's got the puck here in the open ice. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Strand. Peterborough's got the puck against the boards. Solid check to slow him down. Peterborough's got the puck in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Strand. Here's a shot from a bad angle. Fiend's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a whole hump night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. More than half the period left to play. The Rangers lead it 1-0. Peterborough's won the faceoff. Quick pass to Strand. 
The Raiders will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. A shot! Denies him on the one-timer! Kitchener's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The centermen glide into position. Lupel's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. The Pete's played along the wing. Works it across to Smotherman. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Walensky's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision. But he makes the play. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves with the puck at the corner. Great defensive effort with the stick. Across the line along the left wall. Peterborough's going to play it from the corner. Sends the pass down low. Here's a chance. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. Here's a chance. She handles the pass. Shot. And play continues as that goes off the glove. Peterborough's through center and now in the offensive end. Oh, textbook. Hip check. He got all of that one. Great stick work with the steal. Peterborough's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Moves it to the middle. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Smotherman's moving the puck through his own zone. And he takes the dish. Great reach with the poke check. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Wolinski's lugging the puck. Long pass up ahead to center. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Here he is in close. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Rangers have it against the wall. Brent stick handling in his own zone. She takes the feed. Slides the puck down low. Brent's got it against the boards. Nothing doing on the miss. Does a great job to position her body for the screen, and the puck comes through. She redirects it, unable to fool the tender on that one because it skips wide. Peterborough's on the attack. And that's broken up. Lupel's exploring options with the puck. Pad save with ease. On the wraparound. One. Yeah, James, he'd sealed the one post and then recognized that the shooter is going around the goal line and going to do the wraparound. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Lupus won the draw. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. While, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments.
Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Peterborough's performance through two periods of play hasn't been that great, James. They're fortunate to still be in this game. So in the third period, they have to change the mindset. They have to use their instincts, and they have to start attacking. If they're going to shoot the puck from the perimeter, they have to have traffic in front. If they're going to shoot it from the inside, they got to look for rebounds, and they have to have a killer instinct attitude. Bruins got it against the boards and makes the save. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Walensky. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Bruins got it to the side. Great read with the stick. Bruins going to play it to the corner. Routine save made by Bean. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Peterborough's got it now. To the low slot. And not much on that one. Oh, what a hip check on the play. He delivered that perfectly. Along the half wall with the puck. Big time defensive play. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. The Rangers have it now. Moves the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. She handles the feed. Broken up by Strand. Slides the puck down low. And he was ready for that save. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Takes the puck at the point. Fires it. Too much congestion. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. The goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. More than half the frame has been played here. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And now he moves it quickly to Bruin. Perfectly executed. Hip check there. Pink. and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Lupo's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Gets it to the other point. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Here's a short pass to Brent. Shot! Great save from in tight. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Peterborough stop control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers here. Strand's got it along the wing. Comes up with a steal. Tries to get the puck over to Brent. Intercepted. Peterborough's across the blue line. Back to the point it goes. And that one's turned away. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. And they'll start with possession. 
from their own end trying to kickstart this power play. Here's a shot off the inside of the post and stays out a game of inches. Kitchener is trying to gain some momentum in a tight game here, but it's tough to do when they keep bringing them off the post. Strand's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Sent into the offensive zone. Peter has got a hold of the puck now. Takes the pass. Check. From behind the net. Handles the puck at the point. Picks off the feed. And they clear that puck. Peter has got possession of the puck. The Peets will play it from the defensive zone. The Rangers carry it along the wall. Peter has got the puck. Receives the pass. Pass right back. And it's a quick pass to Strand. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Grabs the puck. Directed over to Bruin. The Peets gain the zone. Oh, he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. On the redirect. Big save right at the end. just moments away from overtime. Next goal wins. Here we go. Overtime's underway. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Strand. Sends it down low. Trying to exit the defensive zone. A chance to win it. And he keeps it alive. What a stop. Takes it in front. Blocked in traffic. And that's knocked away. Peter Bros regained possession of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Kitchener's moving it into the offensive end. Tries to tuck it in. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Gains the zone through the middle. Quick feed down low. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Battle ensues for that loose puck run on the boards. And he slides it quickly to Brent. Takes a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Quick feed to Smotherman. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. 
Lupo's very agile on his feet, and his elite edge zone ability is when he turns quickly and carries that speed into his turns to maintain momentum, guys. His smooth skating and turning helps him open up space for himself. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. And player hauls down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see what the officials say. Uh, as you head into overtime, you know that you're tired, you're vulnerable, and a penalty is taken. The coach is just yelling at the official there, saying, how can you call that at this time of the game? The Rangers send their men advantage unit out once more. What a time in this game to have a power play opportunity in overtime. The coaching staff has to settle their team down, make sure they're ready to go here so they can execute and capitalize. Unleashes a cannon! Stopped by the goaltender. Feeling all sorts of heat in the defensive end, trying to clear. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Oh, and that's intercepted. Great D there. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Slides it up front. On the attack along the boards. Stops him with the glove. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Peter Bros won the draw. Trying to dump it out. Clears the zone, and they needed that. This is such a great play, James. I mean, at this time of the game, you have to find a way to get the puck out. You're under a lot of pressure. You've got to be aware of everyone and where they are on the ice, and you get the clear. Great play. And he passes it up ahead to Lupo. And they'll go the other way with it. Kitchener's got the puck in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. The Rangers have it behind the net. Quick feed to Brent. And that goes wide of everything. And he's ridden off the puck. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Kitchener's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Picked up by Strand. Peterborough's looking to break out. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Peterborough's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Kitchener's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves the puck over to Bruin. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puts it on net. Oh, what a hit check. He got all of that. Grabs the puck. Peter Burrow's playing it from the side. On the one-timer. And that goes off course off a of body. Moves the puck. Chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Kitchener's got the puck in the corner. Oh, that goes off the bucket, and he keeps it out. Well, fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. Bruins got it in the offensive zone. Takes the feet at the back end. Big time hit check there. That's how you finish a play. He's got the game on his stick. Oh, what a save! That was the game right there. Wow! Timing is everything, James, and this is overtime. You have to outbattle your opponent. And wow, what a beautiful save and read by the tender. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling, and out billing everyone around you. Peter Burrow's got a hold of the puck. Kitchener's got it now. Takes a shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Now a quick pass to Walensky. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. They win the draw and go on the attack. Makes the save with the trapper.
A critical draw here. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. There it is in overtime. They take it
Referee in position for this challenge. Let's find out who gets the bragging rights in this one. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. There's been a healthy buzz for this one. Now it's time to see if it lives up to the hype. Lumps the puck into the offensive zone corner. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And that slides right out to center ice. Scoops up the puck here. And he takes the pass. Let's move to the middle. On the pass because it was broken up in front. Strand's gonna play it against the half wall. Feeds it down low. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Smotherman's got the puck in his own zone. Slip feed. And that's intercepted by Strand. Angles it over to Bowen. Ottawa's looking to break out of their own end. Moves to off. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. No, oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Gains control the puck here at the line. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Avon's getting some ice time on this power play here, and her shoulder ability could be a difference maker if she's able to use it to help the team like the Lamb. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Moves inside! And that's off target as it hits a body. Scoops up the puck. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Peterborough's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Nicholas plays it against the boards. And he takes the feed. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. And the puck clears the zone. Strands back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Peterborough's taking possession at their own end. Strands carrying it ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Past the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Lupel's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The Pete's taken along the wall. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. Can't get the shot off. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Poked away by Sanheim. Strands got it along the boards. Sends the pass over. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Lupel's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Here we go, two on one. Slides it across. Miscue ends that opportunity. Bruins got the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The 67th will now be undermanned with a cross-checking penalty. And their first chance to use the man advantage. 
an opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they worked on this in practice. It's something to do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Amante is going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lupa's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Takes possession off the draw. Takes the bump but hangs on. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Peterborough's got the puck against the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Strand. What a break for the goaltender as it goes off the inside post and stays out. A huge opportunity to go ahead in this game, James, but it hits the pipe and out. Now they're chasing. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The 67th PK unit delivers on that. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Takes a shot! Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Here in the later stages of this period, still no score in this one. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Ottawa's got the puck. Hot save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Nicholas has got it along the wall. And a stick break set up. Quick feed down low. Picked up along the wall by Oman. Hayden's desperately calling for a shot before the buzzer. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Here's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Here we go. Period number two is underway. We'll see if we can get the opening goal here at some point. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Not really being instinctually aggressive out there, James. Everyone just making sure that they're in good defense or posture. But when you're in that kind of structure, sometimes you don't jump when the loose puck is there before the taking, and you don't get the and he Peter 
Timberwolves gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Handles the puck. Locks him. Here's the shot. Makes the save. There's no question the goaltenders know who the shooters are in the league and what style of shot they take, and he's able to get a perfect read on the shooter here. That quick release shot, he knew that wrister was coming all day long. Peterborough's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Bruin so effective in the O-zone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Picks up the puck in his own end. Chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Peterborough's got it in their own zone. Handles the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. He certainly did. Almost looked like he wanted to go far down and missed by a mile. Slides it quickly to Avon. Pass it up ahead. And that's poked away. Gains the zone through center. Picked up along the boards by Strand. Tried to pick the corner and missed the net. Oh, and there's so many things that he does well here, James. He fights for the interior of the ice, and he gets a great look and just misses wide. Moves into the slot. And he opts to wait for more support. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Here in the back half of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Directs it on over to Smotherman. Lupel's taking it from his own end. Moves around along the half wall. Quick pass to Lupel. Decides to go to the backhand. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Shot, and he shuts the door on that. Takes the feed. Centering feed. He certainly looks frustrated after letting that pull in. James, it's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Goes right to the crease. Decides to think about it. And he takes the dish. Passes it in front. Picked off in front. Taken along the wall by Smotherman. Takes the pass. Receives the pass. Jostled off the puck. And that pass is redirected. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Slides it on over to Bruin. Thunderous hit check on the play. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. The Peets will serve two minutes in the box. Ottawa's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When you're not having success on your power play, James, you have to find a way to out-battle, out-work the goaltender. You gotta get into the paint, you gotta find a way to get to that puck first. Moves around along the half wall. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Nicholas. She handles the pass. Here's a short pass to Avon. Oh, a great save right there on the play. Up along the wing. Ottawa's gained possession along the boards. Here's a pass down low. Avon's got it deep in the offensive end. 
Lupo's almost ready to get back on the ice. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires, and we are still tied here. That power play wasn't very good, James. It's really slow and methodical. An easy read for the PK unit. You got to stop. Oh! a fantastic shot. I mean, the goaltender say, hey, try and beat me glove hand. Well, guess what? He does. Ottawa's gone up by one here late in period number two. Well, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters, and they get the go-ahead heading into the inter intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. Peter Bros grab a hold of the puck. Looking to get it out. Gets the puck out of the zone, and that'll do it for this period. Big save just as time runs out. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Peterborough's got to find a way to get some more shot volume in this third period, James. They really haven't had much for the first 40 minutes of play, but they'll also need to be quality as the third period winds down because you don't get many opportunities, and when you do, you got to have them from high-danger scoring areas, and then you got to capitalize. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Here comes the sentence. Such a tough penalty to take in the games within reach. They're looking for the equalizer. Now they find themselves shorthanded. Ottawa's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. And that's off a stick. Oh, just a great heads up play by Strand. Shot, and that banks off a stick. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Moves the puck across to Nicholas. Peterborough's got a hold of the puck now. With the blast! Oh, and she misses on the one-timer, and that could have extended the lead. Oh, James, I think she could chase that one. She was perfectly set up and calling for the puck. You can hear from all of us up here, and that pass comes across. I think got in a little tight to her feet, and... And she misses Wahai. That's, that's an unlikely miss. Puck slid down the ice. Peter Bros killed the penalty. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Feeds it on over to Bowen. Moves the puck to Smotherman. Delayed oh. penalty coming up here. Here's an offensive chance. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Bruins looking to turn the tide of this matchup, guys, and he can do that with his zone ability. It's an important aspect of his game. Takes the puck. The Pete's played along the wing. Moves the puck down low. Into the corner of the attacking area. From against the wall, it's centered out. That's a textbook save by Amante. 
Yeah, he's reading these shooters so well. He's getting in front of them. He's aggressive, and he's challenging them to beat him, James, and that's what I love about him, a ton of confidence. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. Picked off, and they skated out of the danger zone. Sends the pass down low. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. Let's see the call here. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. From the point, looks to make something happen. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Sends it in front. Great use of the twig as he puts that one away. Quick shot. Scores! Oh, wow! What a finish from close. Well, that's point blank, James, and he is known for this shot. He works to get in tight, and when he gets an opportunity in that area, he simply doesn't miss. If you look at the analytics or the heat map, this is his wheelhouse right tight to the net. If he gets any time with that puck, he's going to bury it. He's such an accurate shooter. Slides the puck over. Peterborough's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a blast! And that carries off a body in traffic. Muffs the shot attempt. Ottawa's got the puck against the boards. Huge steal in his own end. Peterborough's on the attack. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Quick pass across to Nicholas, and that's picked off by Strand. Here's a shot, scores! And just like that, we've got a one-goal game. Well, yeah, I mean, it's much less daunting now, isn't it, James? They're within striking distance to get the equalizer. They're gonna have to continue to play aggressive and try and layer some good shifts together. More than half the frame has been played here. Peterborough's trailing by one. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Bruins got control of the puck in the corner. Sends it in front. Can't connect the play. And chops it out of harm's way. Good heads up play. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Lupo's really good at creating space for himself, even when he's turning on a dime. Guys, his elite edge's zone ability allows him to carry that speed into those turns and open up some lanes for him to maneuver in. Let's see what he does here. Quick feed to Strand. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The 67s take possession here in the open ice. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Slides it diagonally to Strand. Slides it back to the blue line. The Peets have it from the corner. And he had an answer with that save. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Passes over to Avon. Moves it to Nicholas. The Peets gain possession. Moves the puck. Takes the feed up ahead. Strand's got it in the corner. Peterborough's got the puck against the wall. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Peets take it from the side. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. And that's stolen by Smotherman. The 67s have it now. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. This is a face-off.
offensive zone. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it clean, and they have an opportunity right away with the entire group that they're playing against. And look who's right there to jump on the rebound as she puts it home. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage, and they capitalize and executed with it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And it is all over with this one. The challenge was laid down in this EOSHL 